Hello everyone, Oli the Repetu is here again. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to bypass iPhones up to A11 with FaceTime, iMessage, notifications and signal full untethered. As you can see, I have an iPhone 8 Plus on the activation knob screen. The first step is to disable any antivirus on your software by going to Windows Security. Go to virus and threat protection, go to manage settings, make sure this is off. Most importantly, has the two triggers false positive. After which, download the IC bypass tool and run it first. Let it get the configuration information and let it get the connection. Then after that, let it check device. If it says this device support, please register as send. That means you can register your iPhone serial number with the tool. You can DM me on Twitter or Telegram for registration. I'll be registering the device. And also, it will take up to 12 hours to process your registration for the tool. One day later. It's been over 12 hours since I ordered and registered for the service. To check whether it's available, I open IC Bypass 2 first. Make sure it says, please jailbreak and connect to Wi-Fi to activate before jailbreaking the device. If it says processing, that means you have to wait. Since my device is already ready, I open WinWin 2.1 and begin the jailbreak. Make sure you select rootless and click next. You get this warning if using A11 device. Since I'm using A11, which is the iPhone 8, I click OK. Let it enter recovery mode. This will take some time. Be patient. Put the device in DFU mode. Follow the instructions as seen on the WinWin program. Once it's all done, click quit. And wait for the IC bypass tool to detect your device. Once it's back at the hello screen, you can press home to open and go back to the setup screen. I will connect the device to Wi-Fi off camera. Now the device is connected on Wi-Fi and let it go to the activation lock screen. This will take some time. Once it's on activation lock screen and on Wi-Fi, click activate device. It says your device was successfully activated. It's rebooting now. Erase has been blocked, but you can do OTA updates to any version. Click OK. Let the device go back to the hello screen. I mean the home screen. Or the lock screen. This will take some time. Here. The device is now successfully bypassed. I can show you the same signal works. I will take out the SIM card of the... I mean the SIM tray. I pop in my working Heya SIM card. This is the Singapore Telco SIM card by Singtel. Plug in. Now wait for it to search. It should show Hey Ya on this phone. Wait. This will take some time for you to detect Hey Ya signal. I'll try to make a call. I'll call 1688 Singtel's hotline. Welcome to Singtel Customer Care. For English, press 1. Course work. I can shut off Wi-Fi and show you mobile data works. This is a working signal bypass. Data work as you can see. Let me show you that I can turn on and off the device without issues. Power off the device. Power on the device. It is a fully untethered bypass. Let me show you that I can force restart the device without relocking. I'm going to force shut down the device. As you can see, I force shut down. 
hasta no me parece que él and it does not go back to the hello screen even though I force shut down the device this bypass will have signal and also fix the force shutdown issue as well as you can see from the video I really hope you do like the video please like share and comment on the video and please do subscribe to my channel I hope everything is good for you and have a nice day ahead